as you already know this is an smps box uh, i was actually did a quite uh, particular research uh, so that uh, you would not have any issues in terms of uh, installing this see guys smps contains the following pins one is the atx power cord okay this is called as an atx power cord which contains the certain pins and uh, in the particular following motherboard exactly after the dimm slot of the ram where you install it you would see this particular big pin see we, like overall the cpu overall the motherboard you will not be able to find a big pin which matches with this so you can literally say that okay this is the atx power pin from the smps to the atx pin we just need to go ahead and look at its direction see i'm just going ahead in the smps and i am actually going ahead and putting it over here guys I'm, i didn't install it it is just to go ahead and show you because i'm going to install it on the computer directly now comes the next particular uh, plugin guys so this particular plugin is basically called as a cpu so cpu power how would we go ahead and give a cpu power where is our cpu guys where did we install our cpu of course this is a cpu this is the processor where we have installed the central processing unit on the top of it you would see a fan this particular fan is connected to the cpu fan over here now this particular cpu do you see this power socket one over here the cpu power one you just need to see its indications for example it has been indicated get it in that particular way and you just need to plug in that's it see the, our cpu is been done so that it will supply the power to the cpu now cpu will run the it, it will run the fan the fan will also run with the help of this particular slot now entire motherboard gets the power with the atx power one now comes our main particular part which you need to know see we have installed ran is automatically it will take a power from the motherboard whereas the ssd also which we have installed it also automatically take the power from the uh, motherboard itself the next plug which we would be need to go ahead and look for is we the we have something called as pcie so this particular plug what is the speciality of this is do you see this particular slot do you see this particular slot people usually go ahead and install the graphic card to go ahead and install additional uh, setup of the monitors or to have a great performance in terms of the you know gaming and all the stuff so people usually install the graphic cards right on the graphic card itself you would get on the top of it on the top of the graphic card where you go ahead and literally go ahead and uh, plug in those particular points on the top of the graphic card so this particular pcie slot been used over there so i think this is not useful in my case because i haven't have any graphic card so additionally in the future if i have any graphic card i would be installing this pci plugs over there for now i would keep it aside the next particular slot comes like a four particular pin which is nothing but see this sort of a slot you would not be able to find this is just a connection of this particular fan to power on so you know what all this particular slot you forget it if you have it under any particular older older motherboards you can literally go ahead and paste it you would have only one particular plug which can matches with this is this this is a this is that particular thing where you would see diagonal to your ssd what i am going to do is very simply i would just go ahead and i would install over here so you can see this has been installed if you want you can install it in this particular way that's it guys done now our cpu will take the complete system fan and everything power now guys you know what the additional particular thing is you this is basically useful for the floppy drives or any any other uh, rgb lights which you are planning to apply it which which in the future if you wanted to we would go ahead we would require uh, for example to turn on the computer to restart the computer we would require certain pins right so we go we go we go ahead and need to plug in over there so those are the things which we would be using this particular plugin and not only that you have a sata drive hsd if you are planning to uh, install it on your cpu those particular times you would have certain particular cables where you can go ahead and connect it and you can use it guys this is also similarly to that uh, i'm the, let me just go ahead and uh, literally go ahead and install this particular smps now inside the cpu and test it if it is working or not so this is what exactly i wanted to talk about uh, like especially for the smps box how to go ahead and install in our uh, motherboard guys if you like the efforts do like and subscribe the channel uh, appreciate the efforts if you have any questions uh, like leave the comments below this is the uh, as you already know this is uh, this is a motherboard which we are actually trying to completely build the pc so this is what it is guys